Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Talsma, CRM Product Manager here at Interdyne BMI. And today I'm bringing to you an introduction to project service within Dynamics 365. So in today's presentation, we're gonna start off with what is project service automation and then move to a demonstration that shows a high level overview of the capabilities within the application. So as mentioned, let's start with what project service automation is. So project service automation is a module within Dynamics 365 that allows for beginning to end management of your projects. And this starts with the sales components. So within project service in Dynamics 365, Microsoft has taken the existing opportunity quote, order, and invoice entities and tailored them to fit project service type deals. We then have project entities that allow us to track all the details and specific tasks within our projects, as well as the ability to manage our resources. And when I say resources, this can mean a couple different things. It can be users within the system that are actually using the application. It could be contacts that you have in your database, such as subcontractors, or it could be resources that would include things like your equipment or your facilities that you need to book and assign all these different resources to projects. Also within the application is the ability for your users to enter their time and for your users to be set up as project managers to approve that time as well before it gets pushed out to billing. And then finally, project service automation can be purchased as its own application or as part of the Dynamics 365 Plan 1 or Plan 2 packages. If you have any questions on those, don't hesitate to shoot us an email at the end of this presentation. So now that we understand what project service automation is, let's go into a demo of the application. So, as an overview of what we're going to be going over, this is just going to be a high level introduction. We're not going to even come close to all the capabilities that this platform has, but I'm hoping it's able to give you an understanding and a taste for what the application has to offer. So here we are within our Dynamics 365 application. And when I click the module selector, if you're familiar with the plan one, you can see that project service is added directly to the other modules that were already existing in the platform. So as I mentioned at the beginning, Dynamics 365 Project Service has modified the sales opportunity forms to be able to accommodate project type sales. So looking at the form, it will look very similar to what you're used to being able to see within the sales module, the standard opportunity forms. However, when I scroll down, you'll see some key things have been added, such as project baselines um, and product baselines. So these are now differentiated to be able to show for project baselines, things that might be services for the opportunity, and then product baselines that might show our actual hardware, the components um, that we sell for this opportunity. Also included is a customized quote form. So if I open up this quote that I've already built, you'll see that these project services and the products have been added to this quote form as well. And we have the ability then to convert this to what we call a project contract. Once we have that project contract established, we can then create our project as well as start generating invoices as well. Now, I'm not going to go through that process today for the sake of time, um, but I will move to our pre-created project that I have here. So here we have our project, and also attached to this project, again, we can manage the details of it. We can track start dates, end dates, total hours, um, etc. We can also manage our team members. Um, and we can also manage all of our tasks that we have created for this project. Now, for those of you who are using Microsoft Office Project, it does have a direct integration that allows you to work within Project, and through that integration, you can resync uh, any changes that you made within Project and have them come in the application later. So you can choose what you want to work with. Again, this is Microsoft trying to be able to utilize the tools that you already know how to use to give you a jump start in this application. So. As I said though, you can manage your entire project directly in this application. So for example, if I wanted to add a resource to this task, I would simply select the role. So I'm going to say it's the team member, and then I can select myself because I've been identified as a team member on this project and add myself to this task. So within the project service module, we have a number of different ways to manage our bookings for a project. So I'm going to navigate back to my project, and then I'm going to open up our schedule board. So here we are on our schedule board, um, and this is for this project specifically. So I can see all of the work that's been done in the past by our resources, as well as our work that has to be done in the future. Now within the schedule board to manage bookings, I can do all sorts of custom searches for resources that fit specific criteria to easily identify which members of my team I can assign to this project. Also previously mentioned is the ability to track our time and expenses against a project. 
So with that, I'm going to navigate to the time entry entity within our project service module. So within the time entry entity, I can see all of my past bookings as well as add new ones. This is also where I can submit my time. So for example, I just click this plus new and it's going to bring up a form. Now I can select how long I worked on the project. So for example, if I spent, let's say three hours and then I can select you know, which project I'm working on as well as project tasks that I'm assigned to. So let's say I was doing some imaging and then I have the ability to add internal comments. So these will only be seen internally as the name suggests and the external comments, this will show up on your invoices for the customers to be able to see. So I can click save and add this to my uh, bookings. You'll see it pop up on my calendar there. And now when I'm ready, I can submit and this will submit all of my time entries to my project manager. So now that I've submitted all my time, I can move to the project approval section of the application. And within here, if I've been designated as a project manager that can approve time, I can go ahead and select that time entry that we put in and open this up. And now when this is loading, the one thing I also want to point out is there's a very robust mobile application for your users as well. So for your users in the field, they don't necessarily have to be on a computer entering this time. So I can see this uh, time entry that I put in earlier and simply click approve or reject. I can edit some things on here if I need to, such as how many billable hours to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And now you can see that my time entry has moved to approved. So it's now been approved and it can be pushed to our automatically generated invoicing schedules. You can export this data to payroll, um, you know, whatever you need to do. So that's kind of an overview of time entry. The last thing I want to show you is we have the ability to manage our resources further by designating them with skills um, as well as proficiencies. So I'm going to pull up this resource, Jamie Crawford, and within her profile we can see a number of different resource skills that we've added such as level one IT professional and we've designated her as an expert. Now these are all ones that I've added so you have the ability to create these skills and then have all sorts of different proficiency ratings and you can utilize those skills and proficiency ratings within our service scheduling platform to search for these specific skills to identify who you should be booking for specific projects um, so whoever might have expertise in the task that you're trying to perform. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the demonstration there and again we're just scratching the surface of the project service automation module there are so many other entities and reporting analytics within the application but I hope this gives you a good sense of some of the baseline functionality that you have to work with. So I'd like to conclude by thanking you all for your time today. If you're interested in project service automation within Dynamics 365 and would like to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the information provided within the description. If you'd like to know more about Interdyne BMI, feel free to check out our website. To see more CRM specific content, visit letstalkcrm.com where we continually post new content related to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Dynamics 365. And if you'd like to be kept up to date when I post my newest videos or release blogs, um, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching. If you would like to know more, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Have a great day.